Uh, could you give your observation on uh, Indian Prime Minister Modi's visit to Moscow recently, and also your reactions to the opposition that India faces for the energy cooperation with uh, Russia? I think India is a great power, which sets its own national interests, determines its own national interests, chooses its own partners. And we know that India is being subject to enormous pressure, completely unjustified pressure in the international arena. So just recently, Zelensky, or I think someone from Zelensky's team it was, talked about Narendra Modi's trip to Russia, and he called that trip a, a st stepping in the back of all uh, peace efforts. So that was very insulting, and the Ukrainian ambassador was called in, and the Indian Minister for Foreign Affairs talked to him about how he should be behave, behaving. So the ambassadors were really behaving as if they were hooligans. There was an ambassador to Germany. And he was outraged, con consistently outraged, that Olaf Scholz is not giving him enough money, enough weapons. And in an interview, he publicly called uh, the Chancellor of Germany liver sausage. This is a quote. You can find it online. The ambassador of Ukraine to Kazakhstan publicly said in an interview, we'll do everything we can to kill as many Russians as possible so that our children have less work to do. We'll see this job through to the end. So I think uh, India is doing everything right, and my colleagues, Brahmani and Jishankar, after a tour of Western states, answering questions, including the question, why are you buying more oil from Russia? He cited statistics, and those statistics showed that the West has also increased its purchases of gas from the Russian Federation, despite some of the restrictions that have been imposed, gas and oil as well. And then he went on to say that India will decide for itself how to trade with whom and how to defend its national interests. But the fact that the West is exhibiting its displeasure to powers, powers like China, like India, well, it shows their lack of erudition, their inability to partake in diplomacy, and also it speaks to the failure of political analysts. Because speaking this way to these great Asian powers, I mean, you might dream of that, but it's really beneath them. It's really beneath them behaving this way vis-a-vis -vis any and all countries, but in particular when they're speaking in this way to these two giants, these two great powers. Mm -hmm.